so yeah with this it's it's really just about just trying to just trying to feel like where the paint wants to go i kind of formally see kind of like something here but i'm not really sure what's actually going to be there so i'm just kind of like just filling in what kind of feels natural here you know just um i try not to force anything you know just just kind of like the paint seems like it wants to go here i kind of lay it there and then as i'm kind of going through I, it starts to kind of reveal itself because i really had no idea when i was starting this what i wanted it to be i just kind of will wanted to kind of just start painting, do a lot of gestures, a lot of marks, kind of marks that are the marks that I like to make. Now I'm kind of starting to see like a figure here. I don't know if I'll bring them out or not, but right now I'm just kind of just laying the paint where I feel like it needs to go. Yeah, and I was also going to say it's uh, it's good to like be kind of uh, purposeful about what, what you're doing, you know, just uh, it's like if you if I'm feeling a certain way, I just go in that direction, you know, and just kind of go there very thickly. So in this particular case, I'm going well thick with the paint with what I'm kind of seeing, even though it's, the picture isn't really I don't really know what it's going to be yet. But I'm still kind of all in on where I'm in the direction where I'm going and making the paint really thick. Yeah, seeing what kind of comes of it. Almost like a color field almost. This painting right here is called Last of the Dinosaurs. Uh, it's basically like a montage in a way to my stepfather and just like his era. You know, these guys that came from Kentucky, you know, down south in general that just that migrated out to the west. That's what this painting is. It's kind of like a, a montage to like just that, those fault, um, yeah, just, just their beliefs and, and that whole era of, of people, you know. Right here is Fist 25. Uh, this is like a follow-up to uh, my solo show Nine Fist that I did at Paris Hegen. And this is just uh, a larger fist than uh, some of the fists that were there. It was just uh, abstraction inside the fist, kind of similar to the other fist that I did. And just kind of bringing home the whole Black Lives Matter fight against the system kind of mentality, you know, inside of a painting. So this painting is called Mindset. This painting uh, will be in New York in January in a, in a group show at uh, Marion Bosky Gallery. Yeah, this one is about like just with everything going on right now, you know, with the election, Black Lives Matter, uh, and a number of other things, political and not political, and just obviously being on quarantine right now. This is just kind of like, my mindset right now with everything going on trying to balance everything inside of my mind and then there's like some some nods to past artists like this this light bulb right here is like a nod to philip gustin and then some of the colors are referencing like other contemporary artists and stuff like that so. yeah, this painting right here is called farewell to the flesh uh, this painting is uh part of a, I guess a relationship series that I'm currently working on. The idea was to paint like two figures, a male figure and a female figure coming together from their abstraction or from their past, but then to strip them of their skins. Whether you be white or black, you were stripped of your skin. So when you, if you were to take off that first layer of skin, you would essentially have like muscle and tissue underneath. So that was the idea of basically to have two muscles and tissue people coming together, you know? and the abstraction behind them. So everything that they bring to the table as they're meeting each other. Yeah, this painting here, it's called Cage. Part of a, a diptych actually, and this is like one half of the diptych. It's six feet by 10 feet. It's based on the Maya Angelou book, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. So the other painting is Bird Sings, and this part is Cage. So it's basically an abstraction uh, that I've, I've carved images out of the abstraction and uh, and just kind of everything that that book represents, um, uh, I guess, literary, literary. And I tried to uh, basically formulate that book into uh, two paintings. And this is one of the two paintings. 
Yeah, this painting is called Speakeasy. Basically, it's an idea that I had about, you know, just people meeting up at a bar. Just kind of the odd kind of people that you see there. So they have like formal abstraction that I use. Similar to like George Kondo with like the faces as they would be people's emotions on their faces, so to speak. So, and just topped it off with like a formal abstraction on the top. Yeah, this painting is called Bass Reeves. It's part of a two-part series I did for the uh, Dallas Art Fair. Basically, uh, Bass Reeves was like the first deputy west of the Mississippi. He was the original Lone Ranger. So Hollywood eventually took over his character and made it into like this white guy with the dog Tonto. But this was the original Lone Ranger, Bass Reeves. So this is like a historical painting.